Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the first in a series of three Lit Up Showcase Conference events. The theme of today is about producing. Hello, I'm Jane Corey, and I'm the director of Norden Farm Centre for the Arts in Maidenhead. Jonathan Davidson, I'm an independent literature producer, and I'm based in the West Midlands. I'm Paula Bear. I'm Dee Ashworth, and I'm director at the Gulbenkian in Canterbury. Spoken with the highest and writer. Natasha Godfrey, and I'm regional coordinator for Apples and Snakes in the West Midlands. I'm Tom Chivers, I run a live literature production company called Pend in the Margins, and I'm also the co-director of the London Word Festival. It's great to be at this lit up event. Real live literature producers talking about making work and particularly about producer venue relationships. It's a, it's a networking opportunity, it's an opportunity to be involved in the debate. There are people from the whole sector, there are venue managers, producers, there are people from the funding bodies. And it's an opportunity to connect with other people um, and to look at opportunities and ways of working together in a relaxed environment. They're all getting together to talk about how we can move forward. I think I'm kind of here to have fun. And you're going to swap across the table again. Next table, the one that you went to last time when you changed table. Are you getting tired? It's a bit knackering this, isn't it? When you've been up and down all day. What looks like surplus allows flexibility. When my skin no longer cleaves so tightly to muscle or bone, let the give in our joints articulate a future together. I'll stretch them better with him than alone. Thank you. <laughs> oh. yeah. It's the space between. It's the green-eyed gleam. It's kissing goodbye to the rose sprig dream. It's fine bone china to the Argos mug. It's tasting carver when you pay for Krug. Cardboard cutouts to ripped up letters. Polished nails to ragged edges. It's hope, illusion falling down. It's slippers and a dressing gown. He saw me as a spirit, a lover, sister, mother, a friend in arms like no other. I was born to be the summer in his fingertips. Through the estate, where on a grass verge, teenagers still in t-shirt and jeans lie miming one of the more sophisticated means of intercourse. A row of taxis is parked outside the mosque. The potato bake, chippy and chicken takeaway are open. The sky grows dusky with approaching evening, as I notice, I too am here. Hi, I'm Inua Elams. Um, I'm a writer, and um, I did something here. The fight, fight. Fight rising from a circle of boys, the voices communions, the gods, the war fists pounding the air. Fight! Fight! I'm at the center with Jebo, my best friend, and Johnny Vassi, the head boy, Eximon. Jebo can beat that boy. <laughs> Jebo kick him, Jebo punch him. If not, I will flog you tonight. You hear me? Jebo beat that boy. No, no, Inwa beat this boy right here. It's, it's very useful because I get to show my work to lots of people who book work. Therefore, it, it, it bodes well for me. It secures the future after fashion. It's always nice to see what's kind of going on, to see what other people are doing and what people think of what's actually happening. It's nice to talk things out with people who feel a little bit more relaxed, I think, than they would do normally when you contact people on the phone or via email. They're always a little bit... I wanted to speak a film about where I'm from. This is the start. Open with a mid-shot of a 25-year-old man sat in a casualty waiting room. His white shirt is covered in blood. His face beaten. He holds a clump of napkins next to his left eye. To the right of him sits a young policewoman, turned in her seat to face him. She holds a small pad. Mr. Moran, I'm going to need to take your statement. I need to know what happened. I've enjoyed everything that I've seen today. OK, I'm going to overuse the word fantastic. In a way. I thought it was fantastic. Lebo, I thought it was fantastic as well. They, they spoke to me both in different ways. I was just really inspired as an independent producer to hear Helen Marriage from Artichoke giving her keynote address. 
I was told I needed a mission statement. I'm really bad at all that stuff, you know, doing things properly and writing things down, as David Micklin will probably tell you. Um, so I invented the slogan, which was surprise, delight and challenge. And we almost always surprised, mostly delighted and very frequently challenged. And um, Brilliant, just a story. She's that. told a story of, of, of what she does and seeing so, the slides from the Sultan's Elephant. So um, I was just really inspired by kind of taking a really creative approach to producing. I'm Sean O'Hague and um, I'm one of the members and the writer in The High Llamas. I'm uh, Jonathan Coe and uh, I write novels and uh, I've also written the text that uh, goes with The High Llamas music today. Listen to this. The original design, although it has undoubted historical interest, has failed the needs of the many residents, which means... We're taking charge. We're moving in. We'll knock it down and start again. It's not quite theatre, it's, uh, it's not quite a gig, uh, it's not quite a spoken word event, Susan, so I think uh, you know, putting it under the live think? literature banner Have you seen the um, today? seemed like a way of trying to find a home for it, really. Yes, I saw it. It makes me sad, of course it does. But this has been coming a long time now, Bobby. There's nothing much we can do. We were invited uh, to, um, to uh, do the show here. It's a very fortunate festival where uh, sympathetic parties and uh, we're, we're, we're kind of in good company. So I make it very easy for them to say yes at that point and then try and get in with um, uh, we begin to form a relationship with the For me, particularly, it's been really interesting, is, um, is the seminars. Committing the spoken word to the written page was very much part of the sort of new writing process that we wanted them to go through. I feel like I've come out with a bit of a roadmap, actually, about how to programme more live literature. It's nice to step away and get to have a couple of conversations that probably wouldn't have happened without it. Um, I just wanted to pick up on that um, discussion about um, classifying the work. For buyers, it's great, and you know, from my point of view, as somebody who produces product, I want more and more people to come and see what we've got to offer. I've had a fun day. Um, it's been long. It's been interesting. Lots of people smiling at me, which is always good. Relationships are a key factor to 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 producing new work, to creating new work, to working with artists. You know, it's good that someone's taking the initiative and and trying to trying to find venues and a format for these things. It's fun. If that's useful, then that's what it is. If you want to be a venue that is ahead of the game, then Lit Up is the thing to come to.